Hi there, Ryan Russell here for GolfShake.com. I'm on the putting green here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds. We all know how important putting is. So we've got a couple of little putting drills and games that we can use here to really help you improve your scores when you go out on the course. This is one I use myself quite a lot before I go out, and I usually try and find a hole somewhere on the putting green that's got different breaks in it as well. So here we've got a little right to left break, left to right from the other side, and an up and down hill put there as well. So trying to vary that, um, particularly when you get to different courses that maybe you haven't played before, trying to get the speed of the greens, and hopefully try and hold some putts from short distance, because these sort of putts can tend to sort of make or break your round of golf. So uh, generally, as you can see, I'll put the tees in, uh, in, you know, if you want north, south, east and west. Um, so literally lining the balls up and trying to just go round, commit to the line that I've picked and see if I can hold a few of these putts just to try and build my confidence before I go out on the golf course. So trying to see if, you know, I've got the up and downhill putts as well as the, um, as well as the slightly sloping ones that we've got here. So just trying to make sure that I commit to my lines, knock the balls in, and hopefully I can start building some confidence for when I get out onto that golf course and hopefully knock a lot of these putts in when I get out there. See how many times you can go around, put all the balls back out again. I think the record I've got is about 30, but I know some people do these about 100 in a row. So, um, so yeah, try this before you go out on the golf course and hopefully it'll help you lower your scores. We're taking a bit of a look at a putting drill slash game that I tend to play a little bit before I go out on the golf course to really help me get the ball starting online. Now, this is a problem a lot of people I teach have. Actually getting the ball to start where you want it to is not the easiest thing in the world, but this is a little drill uh, that we can use to help us. You can see I've lined the golf ball up with where I want this put to start. I know it's gonna break a little bit right to left. But as well, I've also put this little gate of tees in front of me. So it's about the width of my putter head and it's about sort of 12 inches in front of my golf ball. So I'm trying to make sure that, that first critical foot of the putt where I want it to start on line is good. Now, again, we would just generally set up as we normally would for a putt, try and get that ball lined up with where we want it to start and hopefully try and hit through the line and get it starting somewhere near where we want that ball to go. So depending on how brave you are, you can narrow that gate in a little bit as well. Try and get that ball starting through the gate and see how small you can make it and see how good you can be at starting your ball online. Talking you through a putting drill or game that I use a hell of a lot to try and simulate some of the kind of pressure you'll be under when you get out onto the golf course and holding putts. So I've got a fairly lengthy putt here, about 25, 30 feet. And basically what I'm gonna try and do is obviously hit a putt as I normally would, see how close to the hole I can get it. But then when I get up there, what I'm gonna to do to really kind of put some pressure on me getting the pace right and also the line, wherever that ball finishes, I'm gonna make it more difficult for me to hole out by adding a putter length to that and seeing if I can knock it in from that position there. So hopefully making this drill more difficult than it would be, but really putting some pressure on like you would be when you're out on the golf course. So try this on your putting green at your club, you know, do some practice putting wherever it finishes, add the club length, see if you can knock it in from there, because you will definitely play better on the course if you do that. And we're on the putting green here at Howley, having a look at uh, a pace putting drill that I use a hell of a lot when I'm preparing to go out and play. So. We know that when we go to different golf courses, the greens are different speeds, or even when you get to your own golf course, you know, throughout the season, the green speed will change as well. So this is a great drill to help kind of calibrate your putting stroke, if you like. So I've got three balls set up here at different distances from the fringe, so about four feet, eight feet, and 12 feet, just to try and help me to get my pace a little bit more dialed in. So all I'm trying to do is get this ball to die as it hits the fringe, so really nice, and slow as it rolls into the fringe there. See if I can get this one somewhere near it. Bad. And a real test trying to get one from this distance to the right speed as well. Not too bad. Just, yeah, that's probably the best one of the three. So this is a great one. You can actually have competitions against some of your friends to do it, but also 
even if you're on your own practicing your putting it's going to help you to get your pace much better